I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we've got this Knight of Cups, and it's with the King of Cups. So, this is telling me, it's, it's actually shouting out affection, it's shouting out romance, it's shouting out love. So, this felt like a very rom romantic connection in the recent past. Your person could have been the type that was always reaching out to you, being romantic and sensitive. They could have been sending you messages, being very loving and romantic, maybe taking you out a lot, sweeping you off, off your feet. That's what the Knight of Cups can be about. Messages of love, affection, coming towards you, being very romantic and sensitive. And this made you feel like offering your person your cup of love with the King of Cups here. Yeah, the King of Cups is a very loving type of energy. Compassionate, kind, warm. Yeah, your person was making you feel that way. Their energy made you want to give them your cup of love, made you want to offer love to this person. So it was a very, the connection was very, very warm and loving in the recent past. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Prince, Princess of Swords, which is the page of swords and it's with the six of cups now for some of you capricorns you're dealing with a cancer a scorpio or a pisces yeah with this six of cups here this this six of cups it can be about nostalgia looking back on how things used to be it can sometimes be connected with children or childhood yeah, but it's important to stay in the future when you get the Six of Cups. Because if you stay stuck on the past, then um, it, that could be a very unhealthy thing. And it's important to move, move into the future when you get the Six of Cups. So this is telling me that your person is... Hmm, they could be the type that... They could be holding on to something from that happened in the past. They could be stuck on something from the past. They're, they're the type that they have a hard time letting go. Yeah, with the page of swords here, they you might feel like this person sometimes is on the is not at your maturity level because the page of swords whenever you hear the word page in the tarot that could indicate a student it could indicate youth it could indicate immaturity or maybe this person is just younger than you and this brings conflict yeah because you realize that you're dealing with someone that just doesn't let things go. They stay stuck on to past stuff. Maybe things that happened months or years ago. They're, they're always stuck on the past. For some of you, not all of you, your person is still stuck on someone from the past. Not all of you, just some of you now. Or they're, they're the type that they hold on to past hurt. 
or they're just not willing to move into the future. They want this. They still want to do the old. They still want the old way of doing doing things. And this could bring conflict to the connection. And you find that this is a very immature energy that you have to deal with. And if you don't feel that it's immature, maybe your person is just younger than you. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what what the challenge is. We got the Seven of Pentacles and it's with the Queen of Swords. So, Capricorn, you do want this connection to work. Yes, yes, you do. Seven of Pentacles can be about reaping the rewards of the effort and energy that you put into the connection or a situation. And wanting it to really grow, wanting it to work. So you want this to work, but you realize you, you need to be like this Queen of Swords. Or you could find yourself just being like the Queen of Swords. Very forceful type of energy, this Queen of Swords. She she puts her foot down. She could feel like it's time to detach and become very cold and forceful and honest in some situation just to get her needs met. So, yeah, you feel like your person is... They are holding on to something. They probably do it all the time. And it brings a, it brings fighting to the connection. Conflict. If not fighting, just co conflict. And you just find it to be childish. But you want this to work. You want it to grow. But you realize that you got to put your foot down with your person. Yeah, it's time to cut things out. And you realize you're going to have to be forceful with it forceful towards your person but let's move on over let's take a look and see what the outcome is we got the queen of cups and it's with the star so your person they have a lot of love for you here we got a true pair the queen of cups and the king of cups so they want to fix whatever problems that are in the connection the Queen of Cups is a very healing, nurturing, and supportive type of energy. They know they got bad habits of holding on to things, people, longer than it's healthy, longer than it's realistic. And they know that they bring some type of, they know that you don't like the level of immaturity that they have that brings conflict to the connection. They got a lot of love for you. They could be reaching out to you, wanting to heal whatever the problem is. Yeah, if for some of you, like I said, they're still holding on to some things that happened in the relationship that was hurtful, or they just for some of you they're holding on to someone from the past. They maybe they talk about their their exes a lot. And it's making you fed up. The Queen of Swords gets fed up. And she realized that she has to put her foot down. So, they like that you make them feel good. Star card, the star card is here. So, star card can be about rejuvenation. It can be about having faith and hope. And... This is the way that you make this person feel. You give them a lot of hope about a lot of things. They feel rejuvenated. They feel like a star when they're with you. But they've got they've got some bad habits. Yeah. For a lot of you, um, like I said, they could be the type that they might talk about a lot of their ex women they used to be with and you feel like they're still holding on to those memories six of cups looking back being nostalgic and this is your person yeah so you're putting your foot down capricorn you're you're fed up with this type of energy but just know there's a lot of love in this connection the two of you could have really good chemistry you probably do with this 
True pair here, Queen of Cups and King of Cups. Yeah, so that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. So, Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading, just in case this one did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.